Hello, everybody. Time for another Ask the Tech Guy. Craig wants to know, he's using LastPass, but he wants to know how to make it even more secure. I've got a suggestion next. Ask the Tech Guy comes to you from the LastPass studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Hello, everybody. Once again, a time for a question and answer session with me. I'm going to change it from the tech guy to your tech guy. That's what I'm here for, to help you. Craig sent us a note. He said, I listen to the show whenever I can on, on KFI in Los Angeles. That's our mothership. Thank you, Craig. I remember a while back, Leo was talking about LastPass, of course, our sponsor for the show. I signed up for a free account, but I also remember... Uh, Leo saying there's a way to make it even more secure. Uh, in particular, he was talking about a thumb drive key he uses for two-factor authentication. So this is a great question, and it really deserves a little extra special attention, not just in the context of LastPass, but the, the context of everything you do. Of course, for almost everything, you log in with a address, an email address, or an account name, and a password. That's one factor of authentication, something that's in your head, something you know. But we talk all the time about multi-factor authentication or sometimes two-factor authentication. Sometimes you see it as 2FA. The idea is if we can add one more step, it'll make it more than twice as hard for a bad guy to crack your account. In this case, it's something you have as opposed to something you know. So you used your password, something you know. Now we're going to use, you could use biometrics. That's something you are, your eyes or your fingerprint. But something you have is, well, in my case, this. This is a, a, a physical USB dongle, for want of a better word, that adds one more step to the authentication process. And yes, I do use it with LastPass, but I also use it with Google. I use it wherever I can because in order for a bad guy to get my account, he'd need my account email. By the way, I don't use the same email for every account, and I don't use my main email for every account. So this would be kind of an additional freebie tip, which is don't make your email obvious, right? Make your account email be something special that means one more thing a bad guy has to figure out or guess. Of course, we already know don't reuse passwords. So you're going to get LastPass to generate a really good, long, strong password. That's something then you store in LastPass. And in a way, really, that's not something you have in your head, is it? It's something you have with your computer. But the second factor is so important because even if somebody were to get your password and get your login, they would still need to physically get this key. Now, this one comes from a company called Ubico, Y-U-B-I-C-O.com. Uh, they sell these. They're a commercial company. But there are other companies that make them. Google sells uh, authentication keys. Um, my first authentication key was a little football I got from PayPal. And it would you press the button and it would generate a six-digit number. And it, the key on these is that the number changes every 30 seconds. It's kind of like your Google Authenticator where it's a time-based authentication. In this case, the key has uh, a very long uh, list of characters that uh, included the identification of the key. So that's unique. Plus that extra time-coded uh password. It's very, very long. And the way this will work is uh, I put it into the USB port on my device. YubiKey makes them with Type-C ports, Type-A ports, and even Apple's Lightning port. They now have a key with a Lightning port. So uh, if you have a uh, iPhone, it'll work with your iPhone as well. I keep an adapter around, so I plug on my uh, Type-A USB adapter, which means I can use this everywhere except my iPhone. Um, I use other methods of authentication on my iPhone, like the Face ID. But whenever I set up uh, an account, if it asks for a second factor, if possible, I like to use my YubiKey. LastPass, like I said, LastPass supports it. So does Google. So does Gmail. Just those two alone, if Gmail is your email provider, are, are probably the most two important things for you to doubly secure. So I do recommend these. Um, this one is a Type-C key from YubiKey. I just stick it in my computer, and it's got a little button on it. What happens is this device shows up to the computer as a keyboard. 
like a USB keyboard. And when you press the button, the keyboard types this really long string of about 60 or 70 characters. And, and that's unique. Every 30 seconds, parts of that string will change. And, uh, and then the program you've set up to work with this will automatically uh, log you in. And that's, that's great. Now, you might say, well, what if I lose my key? So in almost every case, I would recommend buying at least two, not just one. They range from $30 to $50, $70 for the special Lightning one. They're, they're a little more expensive. But get two and keep one in a safe place, a safe deposit box, your desk drawer, somewhere that you won't lose it. And then I keep the other one on my keychain because that's somewhere I you know, always have it. So uh, it's really important. And you can, whenever you use one of these uh, dongles to do extra authentication, in every case, they'll say, let you register more than one. So you'll want to register both, your spare and the one that's on your keychain, the one you carry with you. That way, if you lose one, you can go back to the desk drawer. And by the way, buy another one and add that to the list. In some cases, I actually have several of these. So a great question. I, I really appreciate Craig Robinson. We mentioned Authy, which is a <coughs> software-based, uh, time-based authentication protocol. That's like the Google Authenticator. It is the one I recommend if you're going to do it on your phone as software. But there's nothing like a hardware key. Somebody would actually have to physically get this key. They could. I might lose my phone. Um, but I'm not going <laughs> to... And they would have to know that this works with that particular thing. It doesn't have any labeling on it. So I think this is a pretty safe way to do a second factor of authentication. Good question. Thank you, Craig. If you have a question, don't forget, ask the tech guy at twit.tv. Our episode is always brought to you by LastPass. It's a personal password manager and identity solution for businesses that helps secure everywhere you work and live. You can share passwords or notes within LastPass to employees or family members. It can hold anything, personal or corporate credit cards, pictures of passports, all the important documents in your life that need to be stored securely and safely. And now, with passwordless login options for employees, you actually get better security and better productivity. Go to lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. Lastpass.com slash twit. That's Ask the Tech Guy for this week. I'll see you next Monday. If you have a question, again, go to Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv and I'll try to answer it on the air. Take care. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv.